Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on drives, hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. So in this video is going to be uh, specifically focused on hard drives and solid state drives. And so what we're going to do as a whole, we're going to talk about the different types of drives, the uh, different max speeds for the drives, and the max capacities for the drives. Then we're going to actually physically install the drives, which is going to be really easy because it's a hot swap machine. And then we're going to test it two different ways. We're going to use Dell Diag, which is awesome because with uh, Dell Diagnostics, it's going to test more than just the drives. It's really going to test the whole system everything inside of it. And then after that, we're going to use a tool that we like. It's called HD Sentinel. And with that, it's going to tell you the health score and the power on hours, which is just kind of a great secondary tool to have something to test with. And there's plenty of tools like this out there um, that you know you can use. Everyone kind of has their own per personal favorite. And so one of the things I, I like to say is, hey, if there is something that is your uh, a different hard drive testing tool that you like, hey, drop a comment down below. And everyone likes to hear what are the different things out there, the, the new tools to test with. A lot of them have been around forever, but everyone likes to hear what's going on. So all right, let's hop in. So what are the different Different types that uh, can you, uh, drives that you can use. So that's going to be SAS, SATA, and solid state drives. So there's going to be your three main types. And within solid state, you can technically use SAS or SATA. So if you go to our website and you're trying to order upgrades, there will be both options available for you. Now on uh, the uh, max speeds, it's going to really be just kind of one speed for most of these. So with uh, SAS, it's going to be uh, 7.2k, 10k, and 15k, and that's kind of one of the the oddball ones is uh, with the 7.2s, you're going to be more like sizes like a 1 terabyte and 2 terabyte, whereas the 10 and 15Ks are going to be your 300 gig, your 500, I'm sorry, your 300 gig, your 600 gig, your 1.2, your 2.4. Uh, those are going to be uh, like the 10K, 15K type. Um, with SATA, you're going to get 7.2K, and really that's it. That's, that's all you're going to get. And with uh, solid state drives, you're going to get 6 gigabit per second or 12 gigabit per, gigabit per second. And uh, realistically, uh, you know, if you put in a 24, it'll work, but it's just going to clock down to the, the 12 gigabit. Bit. So those are the uh, the different speeds. So uh, what about the max capacities for each? Well, with SAS, the max capacity, uh, at least according to Dell's website and uh, Dell's um, uh, technical guide, is going to tell you that it is 20 terabytes for SAS, 18 terabytes for SATA, and 7.68 terabytes for SSDs. Now, I'm sure uh, there's going to be people at home that have tried uh, different things that are actually a little bit higher. Maybe you put in a 22 terabyte. If you have, do us a favor, drop a comment down below, let users know. And I'm sure also in the future, there's going to be bigger drives that continue to come out that will also work. Uh, but right now, as far as what we validated uh, and what's on uh, Dell's spec sheet, uh, those are the max capacities. Okay. So all right, now that we've uh, talked about the different types, different sizes, different speeds, all that good stuff, we're going to actually install them. And then we're going to show you uh, how to run those different tests. Let's Let's get going. All right, so I grabbed my ESD gear, so we're safe to work inside the machine. So we're going to replace this right here. Uh, but before I do, I wanted to show you, if you were wanting to install a solid state drive, essentially you need to make sure you have the 3.5 inch tray. And then you need to have the adapter or the uh, converter right here that's going to take it from 2.5 inch to 3 or from 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch and then you can actually drop in your SSD cuz your SSD is going to realistically be 2.5 inch and that's how you'd be able to install SSDs so I always like to point that out so if you go to our site and you're wanting to buy upgrades we have this exact option so that it's all together so you don't have to deal with the headache of going and getting each individual piece you can just buy it all so you can just pop it in uh, so what we're going to do right here is replace the hard drive so let's say your hard drive failed or you just want to upgrade it uh, you're going to push the red circle going to pop open, slide it out, really simple. Now you're just going to put the new one in, I'm just going to slide it in. Again, a, a very simple process overall. Uh, this is definitely by far the easiest upgrade uh, for the entire uh, for the entire uh, system here. I guess the uh, hot swap power supplies is the same, uh, but anything hot swap like this is very simple and very convenient. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to test your drives with uh, Dell Diagnostics, and then we're going to show you how to do HD Sentinel. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your hard drives and solid state drives with Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. 
Both Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel are great tools for not just testing your hard drives, but for testing all of the other components in your system. Specifically, Dell Diagnostics will test more than just your hard drives. It'll go ahead and test your graphics card, your CPU, your memory, um, your RAID card, your network card, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so it's a really neat tool that allows you to be able to see whether your system is in good health or not. And then HD Sentinel in, um, in particular will just test your hard drives but you can see cool things like the power on hours um, it'll give you like a health score to tell you like how much life the drive still has so it is a really cool tool both of them are, are very easy to use provide a lot of information and in this video I'm going to show you how to use both of them so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to go ahead and get started with Dell Diagnostics so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and boot up your server. Once you boot up your server, you want to go ahead and press F10. Um, and this will go ahead and bring us into the lifecycle controller. Once we're in lifecycle controller, we can go ahead and scroll down to where it says hardware diagnostics. And then we want to go ahead and click on run hardware diagnostics. And then you'll get this little warning right here. So it's just going to say it's going to take several minutes. So we can go ahead and accept that. Um, and this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So actually getting into Dell Diagnostics and actually running the test is pretty simple. So we're just going to let these tests run. And these tests can say take several minutes up to several hours. So go ahead and just wait this out. If you're familiar with 12th gen and 13th gen uh, Dell PowerEdge servers, um, you'll notice that this looks very, very different. In the 12th gen and 13th gen, you can actually see the different tests on the left-hand side of the screen, um, and you have a lot more information on the middle of the screen. Um, and it's just a lot more simpler of a screen, but it's just gonna go ahead and run through all of these tests. Um, and at the bottom, you can kind of, you can pause these tests if you want, um, and then you can also see like what test specifically is running at that current time, an estimate of how much time is left for that test. So like I said, these tests are gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. So once that final test has stopped running, it'll go ahead and stop. And then we will get a message that pops up on the screen that says success. So this means all of our tests have passed. Um, if you had any issues, then you would get an alternative message saying like, hey, these, these tests failed. Um, and at the very end here, we can actually view all of the information and all the different tests that were ran. Um, and this screen's a little bit more similar as to something we'd see on the 12th gen and 13th gen PowerEdge servers. But yeah, we can go through here, see all the test results for each individual test, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, the information about the system health, the configuration, um, and we can even go into the event log, which is pretty useful. So that is how we do uh, Dell Diagnostics and how we can test our hard drives, but also, you know, everything else in our system. And if you really want to see if your system is healthy, then go ahead and run Dell Diagnostics. It'll give you a lot of information if all the components are working the way that they should. So now I'm going to show you how to test your hard drives with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool but as you can see we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software like I said lots of information it'll give you health scores of the drives as you can see the two we have up top they have a hundred percent health score while the one at the bottom has a 99 percent so all pretty good so I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe, and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server, or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.